Holidays, as wonderful as they are, it can be an exhausting time. I know that it can be an exhausting time for ministers. I can remember after all the services we used to do at my church, Gads, I would practically collapse. There's one church in this area that is broadcasting on TV that they're doing 32 services over the Christmas holidays. 32. Uh, the, they need to do the 33rd, perhaps, in the hospital ward where the minister is getting an IV with B12. It, it's, uh, it, it, the holidays can be an insane time that are exhausting. And if you're exhausted too much, you miss the real meaning of the holidays. You miss the joy. Sometimes in the hurry and the stress, we forget to slow down. And that's what I'm talking about this weekend. A prescription for a happier and healthier life and to really feel the Christmas spirit is to resolve to slow down your pace. To say gracefully, no and resist the temptation to chase after more pleasure, more hobbies, more social engagements. In Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30, the Bible says, Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Physical exhaustion is God's way of telling us, slow down. Yes, God expects us to work hard, but God also intends for us to rest. And yet, busy adults usually forget that part of it. When we fail to take the time for the rest that we need, we do a disservice to ourselves and to our families, and we do not live according to God's plan. We live in a world that constantly tempts us, especially around Christmas time, and we are tempted to stay up later and later, sometimes very late. I even find myself sometimes relaxing at the last part of my day at around midnight watching TV. And then you get into a movie or something, well, you know what happens then. Too much late night TV combined with too little sleep is a prescription for early exhaustion for the Christmas holidays. Are your physical or spiritual batteries running low? Is your energy on the wane right now? Are your emotions frayed? If so, this weekend is a time for a recharge. It is time to turn your thoughts and your prayers to God. And when you're finished, it's probably time to turn off the lights and go to bed. I wish you a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful holiday season that this year does not deplete your batteries, but recharges them spiritually.